ओम भूर्भुवस्वह तत्सवितोरवरेण्यम भर्गो दीवश्यम धियो यो नचोदया तो शांति 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 नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वीडियो नंबर ट्वेंटी टू एंड द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ पंचादशी दिस वीडियो स्टार्ट्स विद चैप्टर फिफ्टीन ऑब्जेक्ट कंडीशंड ब्लिस विस आयनन आय विषयानंदा प्रकरणा द विषयानंदा प्रकरणा स्पीक्स ऑफ द ट्रेस ऑफ ब्रह्मा ब्लिस दट इज फाउंड इन द ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ साइंस एंड डिस्क्राइब्स द मेथड बाय विच दैट ब्लिस कैन बी डिसर्न्ड इन देम रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ ब्लिस पार्ट वन रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ ब्लिस इन प्योर मेंटल मोड्स the happiness that is associated with the objects of senses is but an aspect of brahma bliss though in the case of the ignorant it serves as an obstruction to the knowledge of the true man of discrimination discern in the reflection of the supreme bliss this which is of the nature of impartite a sense is the supreme bliss all other beings enjoy but a fraction of that bliss the happiness that we find in the objects of sense is of the form of mental modification modifications are of three kinds the pure the virile and the dull answering to the three gunas sattva rajas and tamas <coughs> the pure modes are characterized by such elevating and ennobling qualities as renunciation restraint generosity etc the virile modes are marked by violent passions like thirst intense attachment aversion anger etc and the dull modes have the attributes of delusion fear etc in all <coughs> these modes there is the reflection of the intelligence aspect of self but the happiness aspect is reflected only in the pure modes that the self is reflected in all things is evidenced by the shruti which declares as one fire having entered the world assumes forms according to the shapes of the different objects it burns so the one soul that exists in all the beings appears in different forms according to different objects it enters and exists also without as the one air having come into the world assumes different forms according to the different objects it enters as breath so the one atma that abides in the heart of all the beings appears in different forms according to the different objects it enters and exists without also the self of all the one alone resides in every being as one and many just like the reflection of the moon in the water as one the reflection is ishvara and as many the reflections are jivas just as the reflection of the moon is dull in impure and muddy water and bright and clear in pure and undisturbed water even so the reflection of the self is entire in pure modes while it is dull and disturbed in impure modes this is the reason why we stated above that the virile and dull modes reflect the intelligence aspect of the self while the pure modes reflect the happiness aspect also in the virile and dull modes the happiness aspect is obscured by impurity and since there is a little purity in them the intelligence aspect is revealed water receives from fire the latter's heat and not its luminosity a piece of wood receives from fire both its heat and luminosity similarly while the pure modes reflect the intelligence and happiness aspect of brahma 
द मूड्स विच आर इम्प्योर रिफ्लेक्ट द इंटेलिजेंस एस्पेक्ट एंड नॉट द हैप्पीनेस एस्पेक्ट इवन अमंग द प्योर मूड्स देर इज डिफरेंस इन द मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ हैप्पीनेस द प्योर ए मूड इज द इन intenser is the manifestation of happiness when the rajas and tamas qualities over balance the sattva then the happiness aspect is obscured totally and there is the cognition of misery and pain desire for external objects bring misery along with it there is anxiety whether the desired objects would be obtained or not if it is not obtained misery increases and there arises aversion to those things that stand in the way if the obstruction be difficult to remove then there is misery again thus in those activities of the mind which are prompted by rajas and tamas there is not even a suspicious suspicion of happiness when what is desired is obtained there is the feeling of pleasure and satisfaction when it is enjoyed there is still greater happiness but in the contact with what is gained there is only little amount of happiness the greater happiness however is not in the objects of sense it is not attachment to object this is what we have called the happiness of knowledge thus there are grades of happiness the purer the modes the clearer will be reflection of a happiness there in scriptures define brahma as reality intelligence happiness in the inert there is the revelation of reality alone intelligence and happiness are not manifested in non intelligent things in the impure modes as we have seen there is the manifestation besides the reality of intelligence also in the pure modes however there is the manifestation of all the three because brahma is mixed up with the pure modes etc it is called the self with that attributes misram brahma the attributeless brahma is known through jnana and yoga in the manner set forth in the earlier chapter chapter number 2 of uh, um part number 2 of chapter 15 meditation and its kinds maya is of the nature of unreality inertness and misery since the non intelligent objects and the modes of the mind are products of maya the attributes of maya are revealed in them but the essential nature of brahma is also made manifest in them in a greater or less degree a man who wants to realize brahma must carefully distinguish the real from the unreal intelligence from non intelligence happiness from misery discarding name and form he must meditate on the reality that is revealed in inert things like the stones and rocks relinquishing the misery that is associated with the impure modes he must contemplate the reality and the intelligence which are revealed in them but finally he should concentrate his mind on all the three aspects of the essential nature of brahma which are made manifest in the modes which are pure these three kinds of meditation are prescribed for the benefit of those who are not capable of cognizing the attributeless brahma the fourth variety of meditation is on the reflection of brahma bliss in the residual impressions thus four kinds of meditations are taught strictly speaking these are not mere meditations when through meditation the mind is made one pointed knowledge sets in in knowledge reality intelligence and bliss do not appear as disjoined the essential nature of brahma is not split up they are being conditioned by the mental modes pure and impure it appeared as if brahma were threefold but the truth is revealed in knowledge that the self which is of the one consistency of intelligence reality bliss admits of no difference or distinction 
when the self luminous non difference which is the real nature of unconditioned brahma is revealed in knowledge there is no room for the distinction and division of the empirical uses hence the infinite brahma is called bliss when the infinite is intuited all difference is vanish and the supreme happiness is gained so this video number 20 is concluded and hence the videos on panchadashi of swami vidyarne are completed thank you for watching these videos please like comment and share the video and subscribe the channel namaskar my dear friends namaskar